was so hard. The edge of it was in very well, wasn't it? Oh, it's something different in here. It feels even bigger than before. I think you're right. Yes, you are right. You're always right, Bess. Well, this angel statue hunt is very naughty, isn't it? Uh, where is the statue? I noticed I was like seeing the sky, be me, the sky behind it, then I noticed, wait, where is the statue? But a bit is it for the statue, what a price to tell everyone about. Oh, where is the golden goddess though? The golden goddess? Gone? Gone? Where is the statue? Where is the golden goddess? Where? Someone has stolen it! I, I do not believe this. When the preparator of the Starbuck like is found, we will wish you he never crossed Mustafa full hole. Thing is, I'm not 100 percent sure if this if it was actually stolen or if this is like a part of the game. Because again, I wouldn't be surprised. Hold your horses now. It's been nicked. The whopping great thing. Oh dear, Mr. Fullhold is fuming. Of course he is. The statue is practically priceless. Wait a minute, though. If the statue has been stolen, what will become of my bidding slip? You haven't won it yet, Catriel. Well, well, all I can say is someone's got a bloody nerve carrying out a theft right on my nose like this. Cat Perfetti is up to us now to find whoever did this. Well, we certainly can't ignore it. It'll be a theft of a century, given how valuable the statue must be. So now you're searching for the goddess statue instead of, the, of angels. Haha, <laughs> what fun! Surprised there was no accurate animation for that. I have the crew stir the ship, Mr. Fullhole, but there's no sign of the statue anywhere. But this is madness! This statue is enormous! Where could someone possibly have either into where that we can find it? Find again. It is a terrible tr crime. I'll go straight to the bridge and radio back to shore to let them know what's happened. Yes, yeah, thank you, Midas. But there is nothing to be done from the shore. I I do not understand this. Don't you worry, Mr. Fullhold. We'll get the crook that did this. You mark my word. Ah, oh, yes, of course. I was forgetting about the profession of some of, some of our guests. Then you find my statue and you find the person responsible for this basic criminal act. Whatever it takes. Use persuasion if you need to. I, I mean, um, <clears throat> I mean, use the occasion of um, being this asshole to um, find the criminal. Well, Mr. Fullhold, any Mr. Soul, that's my motto. If you don't mind, Mr. Fullhold, will you please ensure no other guests enter the long hair from now, from now on, so that nothing is served at the scene of crime? Of course, if it will help your investigation, I'll inform our guests that they must not enter. This is an unprecedented disaster for my new vessel. Vessels made in voyage. I just noticed something else that is missing. And I think I know what's happening. Let's see if you guys can notice. Comment in the, comment in the section down below if you guys I can notice the other thing that went missing. I'm only thankful that you are on board. Please, please find the statue. Golly, what a turn up for the books. This theft of the solid old statue by it is a big case. What I want to know is, how did anyone manage to make it off with something so big and heavy without being seen? Well, yes, it's almost unbelievable, but it happened, and we have to find out how. Right then, let's get this investigation underway, shall we? I think we should begin by t taking a formal statement from Mr. Fool. Oh. This grand land doesn't feel so grand without a statue, does it? Wherever, wherever can it be, Miss Layton? Oh wait, there's something here. Deity deck card. Nice. What do you have to say? Oh, the swine that did is taking my statue. Mr. Fullhold, can you have a word, please? Naturally. If you have track, track down the scoundrel. When we went to the angel room to start the angel statue treasure hunt, were any other guests left behind in the line? No, I believe all the guests were taking part in the game. When we went together to the angel room, 
There should have been no remaining ground. Hmm. I say we were in the edge room for about 15 minutes, wouldn't you? Was the statue light enough to be removed in such a short space of time? Miss Slayton, then as we got a statue made of solid gold, it weighed appro approximately 4 tons. 4 tons? How long did you ever manage to get inside the lounge in the first place? The thing tends to cope with a very sophisticated crime, Miss Perfetti. That was a simple task. Then it seems probable that a coup could use the same method to remove the statue, doesn't it? Can anybody operate the crane missile for home? No, I do not think so. It's not so easy to control. But I do know the details. You must ask Captain Pullman this question. No, I do not know the details. I see. Well, we'll need to ask him about it now, I think. Perhaps we should find him on the bridge. There's, that's where he said he was going, to radio ashore. Yes, that's right. Let's make our way to the bridge then. Oh, okay, new path. The bridge. I say, it's rather wonderful being on the bridge and seeing how, where the captain controls this magnificent ship, ship from. Just look at the view over the sea. There's a captain over there. We're very sorry to disturb you like this, Captain Puma. Would like to ask you a few questions if you may? Oh, that's the one that's up. Ah, okay, so all of them come here. Okay, okay. Oh, wait. What does it over here do? That's for operating the crane, when you want to load or load big cargo. The crane's power is off at the moment, so it doesn't matter if you touch it, but, but in general, the aspects are not to matter the ship's controls. Okay, that is interesting. I wonder how it all works, because honestly, I can make head or tails of it. Yeah, I was gonna ask, is there a real hit, hit coins here? Okay, I think that was all hit coins. Let's talk to Cap. Do you manage to ride a shore, Captain Pullman? Yes, I've just finished relaying the message. I've set a course back to the wharf. Obviously, the party can go on now. Is there anything I can do to help with the investigation? Please don't hesitate to ask. I've told the crew to assist you in any possible way as well. If you want to ask them any questions, feel free. Thank you very much. We'd actually like to ask you about the crane. Ah, yes, the one next to the lounge, you mean? Yes, Mr. Fullhold informed us that only a trained operator would be able to use it. Is that right? Exactly. For starters, they need to keep for me. There is no spare, spare either. I have the only one. The captain has full responsibility for the vessel, you see. Even the owner could op operate the crane without my consent. I see. So everything has to go through, Captain. Yes, and Mr. Fullhold is well aware of that, naturally. When he appointed me as captain, he entered the thin tank in her entirety to me. In other, in other words, Mr. Fullhold obviously has a great deal of faith in me. He's got, he's got salt water in his blood, that man. Just like me. And he's loved his vessel, vessel dearly. I know he's a hard nosed businessman, and not everyone likes the man, but that's just one side of it. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, he has a good heart. When my old company went under, not only did he take me on, but he took me all of my crew as well. As a result, we still got jobs and jobs that we enjoy. He's a great man, he really is. Uh, just a second, just a second, guys. That was incredibly good of him. Trust all of you from an employment like that. <coughs> That's the Seven Dragons for you. They can do things like that. Yes, like I said, he's a great man. I've always been deaf to him. Yes, I see. Well, thank you very much for your time. Oh, it's a goddess statue. Nice. Oh, I, what I was supposed to go with is a different name. Crane Key. Let's talk to you. Excuse me, could you ask a few questions, please? Oh, oh, right, you're the one that's giving the theft of the goddess statue. So, what do you want to know? I'm Abel, by the way. Abel Simon. Simon? Is he a Digimon? 
During the time when the theft must have taken place, Captain Pullman was with the guests in the engine room. Who was driving the ship while he was away? That'd, me, that'd be me. Although it's really just a case of checking that she's still on course. So that would place you here in the bridge when the theft occurred? Yeah, it would. In what part of the crane when the statue was lowered onto the ship in the first place? Uh, that may be that be me as well. Why? Oh, so you know how to operate it, do you, Mr. Seaman? Can the current be used at any time? No, no, not at all. Most of the time it's not switched on to conserve power. If you fail to operate, you have to flip the master switch in the engine room. And that switch is off and the crane won't do anything. Hmm. The master switch in the engine room, eh? Except we did take a turn on when we ended up to cat ended up going down there. Well, it looks like there's quite a procedure to get the crane up and running there. Yeah, there is. No one could have made use of it without playing, playing it first. What's up, Perfetti? You want something? Perhaps. I'm thinking about motive. Motive? Blimey, I thought you were the brains around here. Why does anyone still go there for money? Yes, usually I agree. But let's forget that the statue was a matter of pride to Mr. Ford. So, what's your point? My point is, perhaps the motive wasn't money, but malice. Revenge, maybe. Mr. Fu Hold has made a number of enemies over the years, as he's built up his businesses. It is impossible that the culprit stole the statue as a way to get him back at him for something. Hmm. You could have a point there. So what do you think? Talk to Fu Hold again? First, there's something else we need to examine. What is that then, Cat? The switch in the engine room. The crane can't be operate, operated unless the switch is on, remember? And when we were in the engine room before looking at the little angel, the switch was off, I believe. Hmm. Can't say I remember. It was off, yes. I remember because Cat Trail tried to touch it before the cat, captain told her off. Pull off, that is. Hmm, yeah, of course. Now I remember. I think we should go back to the engine room and have another look at the switch. Alright then, let's go. That is like a very fair point, because even if we spool body have enemies, we still have to see if we like if I can anyone even mess with us at the beginning. Ah hello, why are you looking down here then? The water lot doing down here. We're sorry to disturb you, but we're investigating the stolen goddess statues. You're a ship's engineer, are you? That's right, my lovely. Deacon Swabber is the name. Well, let me stop you. You go ahead and investigate. Oh, he's going back to his work. When he said he could, we could investigate, so let's investigate. First, let's talk to you. Just a quick question for you, Mr. Swabber. How many people in the ship know how to use the crane? Well, there's a question. The navigation officer for once. Of course, the captain was in the Navy once, so he knows. But most of the time, it's old Abel that does it. I mean the Navy. I mean the Navy down no, no. I see. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? It's gotta be someone on the bridge who does it. That's where the controls are. Nemo's got that kind of finicky mind on anyhow. You've got to have your head screwed onto the girt heavy thing. Them girt heavy things around. I am not happy with this guy's accent. Oh, thank you, Mr. Swabber. We've been very helpful, very helpful indeed. This is a switch. Yeah, it is the one. So this is the switch on that turns on the power to the crane of the ground long, isn't it? Yes, according to Mr. Seaman, if this is off, the crane can be used. Well, we were all the end room here looking for the end of the rain at the time. The god of, sorry. Well, we were on the engine room here looking for the angel figurine at the time the goddess had to mistake. The switch was definitely off then. Just as it's still off now. But if the crane was used, the switch must have been flipped. Yeah, by who? That's the question. Well, we'll know it's somebody on board at least. Really, the head is now. Need your own power switch. Hmm. Hmm. So, putting together everything we've so far, that's it! Inspector, you've heard something out, have you? I have, Ken. I'll find 
a few in, but for us find some where we won't be overheard. How about that? deck? What have we managed to deduce? Let's go to the deck and hear what Inspector's theory. Wouldn't it be best to go to one of your rooms? And yeah, then again, I don't know if those things are both, so... So, Inspector, what is it? I figured it out. I've packed the culprit. Really? You only caught Tria and I haven't made her deductions yet? Alright, perfect. Enough of your cheek. I do crack cases from time to time, you know. Here's the thing. I wouldn't be surprised if he like, did crack, crack cases. Because, again, he didn't like to become an inspector for nothing. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is have a guilty party must be, yes, Chief's Navigator Abel Seaman. The man who spoke to on the bridge, yeah, I am. Seaman was on the bridge where the crane controls are when the set was taken. To put it another way, there's no one else who could have used the crane at the time in question, so he's our man. Well, he didn't need to be on the bridge at the right time, and it's true that a crane does need to be operated from the bridge, which is why I have to be him. Unfortunately, there's more to operating the crane though, isn't there? Eh? First of all, Captain Pullman told us that you need a key which only he has. And second of all, the power switch in the engine room has to be on, to be on, on the other position. And the bridge on the tumble side of the ship while the engine room is right down at the bottom. It takes a fair amount of time to get between them. Even running to the engine room and back to switch on the power to the crane wouldn't leave enough time to left over from the 15 minutes so I can use the crane for anything. But, 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 how else could a could whopping great statue have been moved? That's the point, isn't it? We have to be on the bridge to operate the crane, but you can't get to the engine room and back again in the time window we're looking at. And that's where the power switch is. To say nothing of the key that's required according to Captain Pullman. Well, it was Nick somehow. Yes, I'm beginning to think there's something a little different about this case. What is that supposed to mean? I think if we're going to solve this, Inspector, it's a case of all hands on deck. So what? There's some elaborate plot going on here behind the scenes? Is that what you're saying, Kat? It's evident that the criminal is both extremely intelligent and a level-headed decision-maker. It can't possibly be here. You're right. Level-headed, intelligent, an expert, in fact, on everything about this ship. Well, if Simon didn't do it, then who did? So you brought us all the way here on deck to tell us if you're logical to do it. Oh, I watch it, Perfetti. I don't see you coming up with anything better. I I just haven't built up a full profile with a cook again. It, it doesn't make any sense. Now, now, you two, no squabbling. I have a cunning plan. Oh? I'm not sure I want to hear it, do I? Oh, yes, you do. My cunning plan is this. We will do the angel figuring treasure hunt. What's cunning about that? What are you planning to achieve? Katriel, this is hardly the time for more games. Just hear me out. There is a very good reason for me suggesting this. Remember when the theft happened, we were already underway on the cruise. Which means that at, the, at this very moment, the Cooper is still on board. You can't be sure of that. What if the blackguard that did a jump into jump ship and go to another vessel or something? No, I'm confident that it didn't happen. Me after we discovered the statue was missing, I looked all over all over around us for other ships just to be sure. I didn't see anything nearby at all. And there were no missing lifeboats either. Hmm, I see. Alright then, let us assume the crew is still on board. I think that's very likely. However, I don't imagine the crew would expect the police officer and private detective would be on board. If whoever did this sees is that we are investigating, they might try to serve some valuable evidence. But if we are seen to be playing the treasure hunting game again, what message does that convey? That you are certainly investigating very thoroughly. Exactly. We are dealing with a particularly cool and collective criminal here. We need to get whoever it is to order their guard if they are to catch them out. Right. Shall we go, shall we, so we should go and ask Mr. Fuhol to organize the games again. Yes, let's do that. Catriel. 
Like what I just said does make sense, but still. Are you sure this isn't just your way of trying to get your hand on the top? In a beating slip? Of course not. I mean, if it happened to end up in I'm not saying it would be nice, but... Well, Laura, you admit it. I knew that was a real reason. <laughs> hello, hello, ah, hello, my friends. How is the investigation progress? Progress. Have you doing? I didn't find a scoundrel who did this. Ah, Mr. Fullhold, perfect timing. Now, a favor to ask you. Would you be kind enough to organize a treasure hunt game again? The game? What is the point? The Goddess Satchel is gone. Without a Satchel, the game is meaningless. Not to worry, sir. This place is kind of plain. It's this place is kind of plain, you see. It's all part of what we used to find a missing statue. A cunning plan, you say? That's right. I assure you. We will locate the statue, so if we could just get in the game started again. Haha. <laughs> you may know I'm a fan of cunning plans, Miss Layton. The more cunning, the better. Haha. <laughs> I see you have a sense of adventure as well. Very well. I will summon my guests and we will play the game again. Anyway, it would be a shame to waste the entertainment you prepared for the all. Thank you, Mr. Fool. That's wonderful. So let's waste no time. Come with me to where the next angle figure is hidden. Let me see. Yes, I think I'll go to my cabin. Your cabin? As the owner of the vessel, I have the pleasure of staying in the deluxe first class accommodation. Gosh, deluxe and first class? It sounds wizard. No intention for this angel figure in trial hunt was it? Which is so came my latest question to my guests. The first class accommodation is a site I wish for all to behold, so come. Yeah, I almost had that kind of, I had a feeling that was what the Treasure Hunt was really all about. Oh! Really? Eh, that's annoying. Oh, let's go. Here it is, the most exclusive of the cabins as the theme Tannic has to offer. I say, it's gigantic, and the view! Make, makes where your zip look like a camel. It's so spacious and so well appointed. First class in every way. That's the unique appeal of the theme Tannic. The height of luxury, but without a prohib prohibitive, prohibitive price tag. Now, somewhere concealed in this cabin is another angel figurine. Find it. All right, all right, Angel. Time to track you down. But just before I do, Inspector Hastings, Emiliana, quick word, please. What's up, Cat? I thought it was a plant. It is. But we're looking for the Angel. There's also Super on in here a little. You what? Shush! Not so loud. You don't want Mr. Fuhl to over here. Sorry. All right, I catch your drift. That was the idea, wasn't it? Pretend we're just playing this game when we're really hunting for clues. It is a good way to avoid to avoid rousing suspicion, I agree. Exactly. This treasure hunt game is just a perfect cover for us. And if if, if I find a new satchel, I'll also get a binding slip. Binding slip, Jesus. We care more about that in the case. Well, let's start scouring this cabin then, shall we? Mint coin. Really, nothing on the light. Oh, wow, two right next to each other, what the... Okay, this is just... Flavor text, more flavor text... Now, I know, I think it's one, I'm not sure if it's the ship or this. This? Yeah, it's this, the ship is probably where they hit it. Sniff, sniff. Funny place for a map, this. That's a nautical chart, sure. Don't be picky, it's, it's a map of the sea. Is this, is this certain that it is here, though? I'd have expected a camera like this to have painted on portraits, not charts. Haha, <laughs> I'm afraid that is my doing. I love the sea, you see. And all the things related to it. It is the reason I established my shipping company in the first place. Ah, I see. Yes, I do understand. The sea is so romantic. Romantic, lurid, mysterious, powerful. Yes, I enjoy my business ventures, but the sea is my true love. It is my dream to make bountiful holdings the largest shipping company of the world. But if I succeed, I have another dream. A bigger one. 
I will live out the rest of my days as a hunter of treasure, risking life and limb on the high seas. Gosh, that sounds rather spiffy. Yes, there are countless treasures concealed under the waves, sleeping on the seabed, waiting to be found. You are clearly a very passionate man, Mr. Full Home. I want to say full body for some reason. I'm sure you're right. There must be a lot of undiscovered treasures at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, this map moves, look! <laughs> 103 fa Fathom of the Depths. Fa uh, fathom the Depths. I thought, I thought it was going to be Phantom of the Depths. No, it's Fathom of the Depths. Okay. You've come by a treasure map which shows various islands. The treasure is located in the middle of an, of an equilateral triangle connecting three islands that each contain different shaped ruins. The distance between the points on the map is always equal. Select an island to circle it as one of the three islands at the center corner of the triangles. Select the same island again to remove the circle. Identify the three islands and locate the hidden treasure. Ah, I am lost. Beer, beer. Um, just give me a second. I need to actually think this. What the? Tomorrow. I think I got it. Hey, I'm back. I think I got it. Cause here I reread it a bit, thought about it, and let my brain rest. This part here pretty much went over my head. Different shape wounds. So we know it's gonna be like say a triangle, a sphere, and a square. We also know that because it's supposed to be a triangle equilateral, a triangle and what's the name? Equilateral triangle, they need to be spaced apart evenly. So, let's try this. I'm gonna go with the ones in the edge first. And the one that's looking, because this one here is the only square and one in the edge. That'll be the first clue. Then it can be either this one or this one. But I think this one here is a better the same disc because this one here would be too far. And this one. Right? I've seen how to solve this now. And that's how it's done. I was right, good to know. You did it. The center of the triangle is in the middle of the ocean. You discovered some underwater rooms. Oh, well done, miss. You found it. Ah, the end of the green. So this is where it was hiding. Yes, my congratulations, Miss Layton. Brilliant. So allow me to take you to the next treasure hunt location. The bridge. The bridge again? Weren't we just there to talk to the captain? Seriously, my dogs are barking. I had no idea there was an angel figure in here or there. Well, let's go back to the bridge and find, find it. Treasure beneath the waves. I'm not sure what kind of a clue, but... Okay. Because that's just more him talking. But uh, okay, I think I get it. How about the ship? Oh, apparently there is a puzzle here that... Oh, look at this! Uh, this top notch is this model, right? This, top, this is top notch, this model, right down to the river. Hey, eh, what's this? Have you found something, Inspector? I have! A puzzle! No, oh, please do be careful of the model. It looks very delicate. Island Mystery. Okay. There is a mysterious carving on a stone monument that sinks into the sea at high tide. It apparently shows the time when the island sinks under the water. What time is showing? What? Uh. Okay, this okay, this is clearly more of a carving than anything, but okay. If the island is submerged, it's safe to assume that it probably means also this part here. And it probably goes all the way here or maybe even higher. So if the water gets to here, it eventually would rub, rub, rub the number out, so... Uh, let's see, I think it's... 
Eight thirty. Be lucky if I crack this one. So I solved that little conundrum, eh? Oh, he was going to solve, was solve it. Good to know. You did it. The inscription in the monument is on mirror letters. Ah, so it, ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's why I found it because there was no way it's gonna go down, so it's a mirror. Okay, that's nice. The air is answered at this point the time when the air affected the water. It would have been helpful to know that before it went under. Agreed. Not bad, Inspector Hastings. Perhaps they were right to make you Inspector after all. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna take it as a compliment. Don't get many of them, especially not for me. I, I wasn't complimenting, Inspector. I was, uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, I think we have everything here, right? Or not. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think that's all, you know. Let's go. Oh, 